What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Rico on Heist Forks Out. What's going on guys, so I've actually been playing a little bit of Heist so far, I've played like four games, and usually what we're trying to run is you either you have a bull basically you have a bull or a daryl but bull, bull on this map is probably superior and then you have the mike and the barley now mike is does have a higher skill cap but barley is just safer it's an easier play so right now we have bull and barley as the lanes and then we have some mids so our choices for mids are basically brock and jesse so those are kind of the two mains and then you could kind of you can kind of go off into other tiers. You can go for a more range, someone like Rico and Colt, or you can go like Nita and Spike. Now, you can easily have success with Brock and Jesse, but I'm actually really digging Rico mid on this map. I think the bounces are great. I think there's very slim areas for people to go into, for your for your opponents to go into. And I think you can easily, easily, easily dominate as Rico. So let's get into a few games here, and let's see if I can show you guys my strategies with winning with Rico on this heist map. So here we go into the first game. So as I said before, they're going to be going Bull and Barley, which are the two probably superior picks on this map, and then mid Jesse. To start off the game, I like hitting that barrel just because I have a max Rico. I'm going to do a bit of extra damage and hitting them. So what I love about Rico so much on this map is right here, it's actually really tough for the opponent's thrower against a Rico just because you have that bounce and you are able to hit them unlike any other brawler basically in the game. Now another great counter to that obviously is having Daryl and Daryl just charging his super and then rolling in. But no one's really as good as Rico when it comes to just chipping the barley like that over there. So we already have a big lead. We got Alex the bull on the safe. And this is the great part about Rico when you're just on the safe like this, just pounding them. You can have your super. You can do two things at once. You can kill them and take out the super. Now I know I didn't show you much that game. That was more of a defensive game, but that is going to wrap up the first one. Alex played a great game there as Bull, and let's hop into the second one, and hopefully I can show you guys more when it comes to fighting for mid control and the attacking end. So here we go, again we're going to be facing Bull, Barley, and then a change of mid, so they're going to actually be playing Spike. Now, the greatest counter to Rico would be Barley, just because Barley also has that range. Uh, not Barley, sorry, Brock, just because Brock also has that range, and you are only 3,300 health, so you can get killed pretty easily. It only takes two Brock shots to get you very low. Anyways, we're going to be using these bounces over here. As you can see, we're easily able to lower the spike using those bounces while staying in a safe position. We're going to see if we can take it out. He did stay a little bit out of range, but that is fine, as we can just easily move up. Just want to identify where the spike is first. So we're going to move up here. I think we're going to super. Hopefully it's going to bounce down. It won't. So that was kind of like a waste of a super. I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Even though I'm showing you guys what to do, I'm still trying out new things myself. Like I don't normally go for that super just because it is risky. I'm just trying to figure figure things out. Try and find the best possible way to play this brawler on this map. But anyways, we've had an easy mid control against that spike so far. We're just going to chip the safe as so. We're not going to let the bull go to our safe. It's the last thing we want to do here. So he is going to go around there. Also, a lot of brawlers have tr difficulties killing people when they go into the bushes. Again, with Rico, it's super, super easy. You just use those bounces to your advantage. Anyways, we don't want to charge Barley super, so we're going to stay back. We do get hit by it once. Hopefully the Barley does move up so we can get him in an easy position to kill. I think we're just going to super up because there's a bull over here and we're going to be able to get the safe at least. So we're just going to go for this spike. We're going to help Alex over here with that barley. We're just going to chip away and it looks like that is going to be it for that safe. Now that's the end of the second game. Again, not too much of offensive pressure being shown. More of like the middle control and bounces that you can do. And I even had a super where I blew it and basically showed you guys what to not do. But next game, let's try and be really offensive so I can show you guys exactly how to play Rico on the offensive side here. So 
So here we go into the fourth, into our third game. And now that we're facing X and I'm Will. So these are actually two of my teammates on Team Liquid. So this is definitely going to be a very fun game. So we have a Brox that is our counter. So we're definitely going to have to try hard this game. They are two very good players. So Will's going to just go in there. I'm going to do as much damage as I can with the Rico. We will be able to take out X. And it looks like we are going to be able to take out Will. So they didn't actually do too much damage for the amount of pressure they had coming at us. So looks like Alec is, Alex is going to be near the safe, or, or not. He's going to be playing some defense. Thought he was closer. We are going to be able to take out X, as there isn't much room to walk over here. Now we're just going to be able to shoot the safe. You also want to be able to super it. So we did miss a little bit of that super, just because I was trying to hit the Brock at the same time. You know, he's X coming down the middle, but nowhere for him to go because of the bounces. So we're going to be able to, again, move up and take advantage and hit the safe. We don't want to be hit here by the Brock. So we're just going to go back a little bit. Maintaining possession instead of just kind of going all out is definitely the move. So we were able to hit the safe and the and the bull over there. So that's definitely the goal when you're using a Rico Super is to try and hit more more targets than one at once so that you can get some good value. So we have Will on the safe again. We don't want to cross the safe just because Will will be able to get us and kill us. So we're just super on defense. So we're going to be able to take out X over there. It looks like the barley, is, or I mean the... Brock is trapped. We were able to take out the Brock and now we are on the save. So it does look over here like we will be able to take it. Gonna build up the super. Gonna be able to take out X and hit the safe a little bit. Gonna build my super on the Brock. Be able to take out the Brock and get that double value again and kill the safe. So that's a really good representation of what you want to be doing with Rika when you're playing. That was a really good team, so props to them. And let's get into this fourth match and hope I can show you guys again a good game against a good team and show you guys exactly how to play Rika on this map. So here we go into the fourth game. So we're actually going to be countered again. We're actually going to be facing double tank, no thrower with a Brock. So this is a very interesting comp. Hopefully that we can get some damage done early. And we're able to chain some supers. So both tanks are going to be going left here. So this definitely is a weird comp to be facing. We're going to be trying to chip down the bull. The Brock did kind of just run forward and we were able to hit a full clip on him. So we can see that the Daryl is lining up super. So we don't want to stand like right over here. Just because we don't want to be killed. We want to be playing defensive. We're going to be able to bounce shots over here. The bull is spinning for some reason. Don't really know why. Daryl's probably going to be coming over here, so we were able to get the kill. The bull was good, was like trying to come in, but he's like, oh damn, my teammate died so quickly, so he's just probably going to run away, which he is doing. We're trying to bait out Brock Super, even though I don't think we are. Oh, we actually were able to. So that's awesome. So we're going to do a Super over here. We're probably going to be taken out. I don't see a world where we're going to live. So we were able to, we were taken out, but we were able to do some really good damage on them over there. And Alex is likely going to be able to kill both of them. So we have their bull trapped over here. We knew he was going to do that. So we just did a little bit of a bait. He did get two shots off, but that's fine. He did waste his bull super. He did get hit over there, which isn't the greatest. We're going to full clip that Daryl over there. Hopefully he's able to take care of the Brock. So we are able to stay at distance now away from the bull and just start to take chip shots at it. We're going to go for those value shots again, going for the safe and the Daryl. So I have half my, sh half my super recharged again and we were able to hit the safe. So those those double value supers are definitely things that you guys should be trying to do just because that's kind of, that's the intention. That's what's good about Rico is you can get all that value and you can get your super back while hitting the safe. So again, we have our super. It looks like they have a lot of supers too and they actually have a lot of force coming at us. We're gonna use our super to take out that Daryl over there. It looks like their bull is coming in hot. We will be able to kill the bull. This is a very close game, actually. I suspect there's someone in there, so I'm just going to do a super. We were able to full clip and get our super right back. Here comes the bull. We're able to hit the safe and the bull. So again, just getting that value. Getting our super again. Going for the safe. We're actually doing a ton of safe damage over here while maintaining super cycle. And there is another great fourth game in the books right there. That game was also awesome. That The third and fourth game you guys should definitely take away from watch over if you're trying to learn how to play Rico properly and definitely analyze and continue. We're going to go on to play one more final fifth game. Hopefully we can find another good team and show you guys another win.
So we actually played a fifth game right back there, but it was really easily won in like 45 seconds and the opponents weren't that good. So I don't want to put it into the video. So we're going to be using this as a fifth game if it does turn out to be competitive. Anyways, the mic is going over here. We do have the mic covered because we got this bounce, which is a great thing with Rico. So we're just going to move up here and try and get our super off the bowl. We were able to do so. We were able to get our super back from hitting the mic and the bowl. We don't want to use our super yet. So we're just going to be shooting at the safe until somebody walks in front of it and walks towards us. So that's what's happening over here. So we're going to be shooting our super. Looks like the Brock did know our, our plans though. So we do have to kind of back off. We are able to get the Brock, but the fire. We got pinched by a fire and dynamite stick. So that sucks, but whatever it happens. So the mic is probably going to go down. I think our Bradley will be able to finish it, but I'm not sure. Looks like he wasn't able to reach the safe with the super. But anyways, we will definitely be able to. We're going to full clip the mic and full clip the safe. And although that's not the most competitive game, that is going to do it here today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Those were an awesome five games. Well, six games, but one of them wasn't competitive, so they're not going to be in here. That was an awesome five games. I hope you guys are seeing that we are winning. We're not getting any losses. And I hope you guys do try the strategy out and learn from this video. If you guys start winning games, let me know in the comments below so I can try and get really instructional videos like this. But anyways, you guys already know, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment, do what you always do. And thank you for the support. Peace.